my name is Naveena Khanna. I am with Live Real. It's a new national initiative working to build the power and the voice of youth and communities across the country trying to change our My name is Gerardo Marin, co-director of Rooted in Community, Youth Food Justice Leadership Network. Live Real and Rooted in Community are collaborating on the second Food and Freedom Rides from Southern California to Northern California to expose injustices in our food system and amplify and highlight all the um, tremendous resilience of our communities on the ground working for justice. Fifty years ago, 13 bold young leaders, black and white, mostly college students, rode through the segregated Jim Crow South to challenge racial injustice in uh, 1961. So we're honoring their legacy, the work that they did to change our lives today. They were working on changing the most urgent issue of their generation, and we're facing the most urgent issue of our generation, which we see as the problems with our industrialized food system. Right now, youth today are expected to have a shorter life expectancy than their parents, and we're not willing to stand by and just let that happen. Racial inequalities, inequities, injustices all still exist because of the food system, inside of the food system, so there will be interviewing folks that are affected by it, whether they're working inside of um, restaurants or farms and are exploited, or that are just living in communities where there isn't access to fresh food. And a lot of what we're really highlighting is that this work is about culture, around transforming our culture back to one of reverence and sacred connection with the land, with all beings, making that normal again using the art, our creative hearts, um, teaching tools for transformation, for creative messaging, for bringing our peoples together, really just reactivating that wisdom, that love, and that power that's in all of our blood. We've seen extraordinary people all over the country that are trying to change things in their own communities. They're reclaiming their rights to a food system that works for them. They're reclaiming knowledge, they're reclaiming culture, they're reclaiming control over the food system. We've ridden from the deep south of Detroit, talking to farmers, workers, and everyday people who are working to change their food system in their own communities. We're about to ride from the border to the bay, uh, talking to people in urban and rural areas throughout California, the nation's salad bowl, about what's going on in our food system. And California was a birthplace for a lot of the most critical moments in our food justice history. So we're honoring the legacy of people like the Black Panthers, who right here in Oakland started the Free Breakfast Program, which now exists in schools all over the country, thanks to them and their work trying to heal their community. We're also honoring the United Farm Workers, who back in the 1960s marched and led a boycott that was a nationwide boycott to lead for fair working conditions for workers um, in the fields. We're going to be exploring some parts of California that people don't always realize uh, there are problems in. California is the nation's salad bowl. It produces 75% of the fruits, vegetables, and nuts that people eat all over the country and around the world. Um, but despite that, we also have some of the highest rates of food insecurity. Rooted in Community uh, Leadership Conference in Philly last month. A lot of the organizations say that they want to be connecting with each other. They want to find out and learn from each other's successes, from each other's challenges, share resources, get their youth in communication. So we're building bridges between communities and we're carrying that power and that voice to decision makers to let them know that there is this growing movement. There are hundreds of organizations, thousands of people all over the country that are calling for change right now. We all want to see something different than our industrialized food system. The recent Rooted in Community Summit, young leaders got together and deconstructed the injustices in the food system and actually created a youth food bill of rights that they declared at the Constitution Center and they offered that to other youth organizations to use it, leverage it, re-modify uh, it, write it, and use it to inspire culture shift and transformation in policy and on the ground. We'll be planting seeds along our road trip as well so that people can be imagining ways that are relevant to their missions of ways to take action in solidarity with the state and the rest of the country. We're writing because we know that none of us is really free until we can actually feed ourselves. Um, so we're writing for food and freedom. It's a journey for all of us. Thank you for following us ahead of time and linking us and connecting us with your friends and families along the journey. Check out our map online and let us know who, we, who to invite. Help us spread the word about the actions, about the garden days, about the trainings, about the celebrations. Uh, help us connect. Um, and really 
Amplify This Work. So go to liverealnow.weebly.com to get the whole journey. See where we're going to be. See how you can join us. We'd love to have you ride with us for food and freedom. Thank you.